na asante sana bila shaka ni Jumamosi nzuri Jumamosi safi Jumamosi iliyotulia ikiwa ni weekend ya Pasaka tarehe 26 popote ulipo jana ilikuwa ni siku ya ruhusa kwa wengi wanaofanya kazi itaendelea vivyo hivyo paka siku ya nne ambayo ni Jumatatu wengi wakafanya mzaha kwamba wamepata ruhusa hii kutokana na Yuda kuweza kumsaliti Yesu kwa shilingi 30 tu je ingekuwa milioni moja ingekuwaje hayo ndio yawaja wa Kenya na wengine wengi lakini mie lofti matambo na kualika kwa mara nyingine kipindi cha pili kimasomaso ambapo katika wikendi hii wengi wakiwa naangalia usafi wa nyoyo hapa tutaangalia usafi wa nia na maadili maana kendo mambo kimasomaso tunavyofanya tunaweza kuyaangazia kuyaweka wazi na kuyababadua yote kabisa katika kipindi cha leo tumekuandalia mengi mazuri tu kumbuka kisa changu ambapo Tutakuwa na binti ambaye atakuwa anaelezea zaidi jinsi alivyoingia katika kahaba anamlaumu mamake lakini hata hivyo anasema yuko tayari kugeuka ndio maana leo tutakuwa tunakuuliza katika swali lako ama kauli yako utuambie je kupotoka ama kunyoka kwa madili kwa mtoto wa kike ama wa kiume mtoto kwa ujumla ni jukumu la baba mama ama wazazi ama ni jamii nzima kwa ujumla Tumajibu lako kwa mzazi ama jamii katika Twitter yetu at @ktn news at loft matambo alafu tutakuwa tunaangazia mwishoni mwa kipindi vile vile niko na wageni wangu wacha ni wasalimu kidogo Shiko ambaye ni mfanyikazi huyu Shiko wa An anajiita kahaba na hafichi waziwazi wazi kabisa maana ni mambo kimasomo macho acha nseme Shiko salimia watazamaji wetu mm, kwa majina anaitwa Shiko mimi sex worker na nafanya kazi katika kampuni inaitwa Bar Hostess ambayo tunaweza kusaidia na kutetea sex workers wengine. Shiko yuko hapa kuyaweka wazi. Ndivyo ilivyo katika kimasomaso. Vile vile niko na mgeni wetu mwingine ambaye ni Dan Mugera, huyu ni mshauri na saha, mlumbi. Dan. <laughs> Salimia watazamaji wa kimasomaso. Dan Mugera, mshauri Lumbi kutoka kwa taasisi ya Ulumbi Afrika ama ukipenda kwa lugha mkopo The African Center for Public Speaking. Mm -hmm. Hao ndo wageni ambao baada ya kutizama kisa tutakuwa tunaangazia mengi uh, vile vile kuna vimbwanga vya juma, vimbwanga vya wiki kama kawaida yatakuwa mambo mazito kabisa katika kipindi hiki Afrika Mashariki yote. Lakini kwanza wacha tupate kuu za siku. Haluale na viongozi wengine kakamega kuipiga jeki safari ya wetangu la Yaikulu. I became an escort to pay my school fees. Kwenye kisa changu binti anayekiri kubadilika awala umuazazi kwa kujipata ukahabani. Vimbwangani wiki hii mwalimu mkuu awongoza walimu wengine kumchoma
Tabana haikuwa na habari kamili. Kama wangengoja wapata habari kamili kutoka Nairobi kwa maana hii arrangement inatoka Nairobi, pengine haonge kuwa wanatoa zile complaints. Position ni kwamba event ambayo kwa hapa ni event ya kulonge presidential bid ya Senator Moses Wetangula ambaye ni Senator wa Bungoma. Na hiyo event ni event ya chama cha Ford Kenya. Na vile wananchi wanaelewa Ford Kenya iko katika code pamoja na <coughs> na ODM na Wipa. Na masante sana ndivyo tunavyoanza kimasomaso moja kwa moja na kupeleka katika kitengo hiki cha kisa changu. Wanasema tabia ni kama ngozi ukivaa kuivua ni shida. Lakini tabia hii iwe mbaya au nzuri huwa na chimbuko lake. Kwenye kisa changu leo binti Karo binti Mwerevu masomoni aliyefanikiwa kupata alama A ondoa katika mtihani wa kidato cha nne mbali na kuhudhuria masomo muhula mmoja peke yake. Anasimulia kisa chake jinsi alivyojipata katika ukahaba kutokana na ushawishi wa mama kimzazi. Je, kunyoka au kupotoka kwa maadili ya mtoto ni jukumu la mama, jamii ama mtoto mwenyewe? Hebu tazama kisa hiki. Caroline Mawia Mwalimu Naishi juja na kisa changu ndio hichi. Nilizaliwa 1992. Um, mwingi. Babangu alikuwa anafanya kazi ya ujenzi. Mamangu naye alikuwa na ana, anauza mboga mwingi. Tukiwa wadogo niko na wasista wawili na my brother watatu tukiwa wadogo kama class 2 hivi mamangu na baba wali, wali separate na baba akaenda kuishi garisa na sisi tukabaki na mama mwingi ile shida kubwa na inasema ndio mwanzo wa swa wa shida zote mm. wakati nilifika darasa la nane wakati baba na mama waliachana Baba alioa, mama pia kaolewa. Sa, baba alioa, bibi mwenye alikuwa na watoto wa saba. Sasa, baba ngulu alikuwa na wasaidia. Sasa, badala kunipeleka mimi shule, my father used to support the other family. Nikamaliza class 8, Nikaitwa nikapata 374 374 max nikaitwa Mary Hills Nika, nika I was an active member of church Catholic church in Garissa So I went to them nikawaomba wan support wakanyoganizia harambe na wakaita babangu wakamwelezea kuwa wangeni support from one and then the school fees from one. Now I just tell you, and the PS from two. The government need to pay a person. I have, I have three brothers, Wakubwa. So some, they one is a pastor, is a pastor, is a pastor. So when you pay some, you go in a food, you know, you can't pay akapokea zote ningefaa nilipwe school fees na kaina nazo nikabaki hivyo ningeenda kufanya vibarua kwa wasomali nafua nguo naosha vipo naosha nyumba kazi yoyote nalikuwa na save sasa hiyo pesa nilikuwa na save nika nikaitumia kununua uniform ya ya nep girls na kununua sanduku na shopping kidogo 
she used to struggle to live rent, food, anything. It was a struggle. So there is this guy, when he was a kid, and there was a plan that the guy wanted to marry me. His fourth wife. Yeah. So my mother would tell me to, to ask for money from him. And the guy would come and pick me and go with me, and go with me, and go with me. Now when I dropped, now that's when I came to Nairobi, through a friend. I started working as a maid in, in, in Huruma. Wakati nipa Huruma sasa, ndo nipitana uyu, uyu boyfriend, pitia Facebook. So, Kailoana na e kuwa ni nile na yika zinipo na fanya ya maid na at the end of the year ile pesa yiko itakuwa ni mesave tuta join na nye itakuwa na yo nirudi shule yyo kata likuwa manafuzi KU kata lifunga shule na kuja ka nchukua tukenda na e kwa okisi so akenda ka elewa wazazu wake venye tukua tumepanga wazazu wake kakata na waka somehow waka mdisown but yes, sir, I can see my own. I can't be here. You can ask Shida, and you can just say this. When you come and say Finally, I can go Bali. You can come and enroll Tabaka High School. So when you come to Tabaka High School, this guy was violent, and I, I was. Most of the time I was sick, stressed. I was a wife during, after school, and I was a student during the day. Rumors is kinda, the whole village, I was married. Shule, everyone knew. Sometimes we used to fight. He used to fight me, yes. I remember there was one morning, I can't recall exactly what she to be pitana na ye so akakuza akanishika hapa akanigongesha kwa ukuta akanigongesha kwa ukuta akanigongesha kwa ukuta sasa hiyo ukuta si hizo za nyumbani zenye zimepanga si si smooth so venye alinigongesha kwa ukuta Sweater, mkwa nimeva uniform, nyekwa subuhi. Nika shika mchanga, wenye tuwa mwenye kongesha hivyo. Hami siku jua, saa mi nikaenda shule hivyo. Sabe, nifika shule, si walima likuwa wanajua mimi mwolewa. Sasa walima likuwa nduchi haka nitanga. Haka niliza kwa nini mwa yako hiko hivyo. Now I started crying, and I explained to him everything. Now, that's when the school ikanza kuwanisha concern. Ruma, the kind of that. Nimefanya chawiza ukambani ndo mana, alinipeleka kwao. Ndo mana labda alikuwa na nipenda. So, stories zikatembea. Then, now, they drew me out. Yeah, nkarudi nerebi sasa. Kwa mfoni nilisoma one term, ndo saa nika fukuzwa. Nika runi kafanya mtiani, nika pata ya minus. All sciences, biology and chemistry, nikuwa na airplane. Maths airplane. CRE A minus. Languages B plus. And computer studies B minus. No, only some one time began. Mm. I sent for a site, an escort site. Exotic Kenya. So you pay the, the, the admin some amount of money 